Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay, great. Um, good evening. Uh, thank you all for coming to tonight's screening of the film Go For Broke, an origin story. My name is Steven Salel, and I'm the curator of Japanese art here at the museum. Uh, we have a busy evening, so I'm going to try to keep my comments brief. Uh, I realize that we have some special guests in attendance. If I could turn back uh, the clock about 10 years, um, I think that we could um, safely hope to have some veterans who served in the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, the 100th Infantry Battalion, or the Military Intelligence Service uh, here with us. Um, unfortunately, at this point, there are not that many um, of those distinguished men uh, left with us. Um, I was wondering, however, if we do have any uh, family members of those veterans. Uh, if we do, uh, could I ask you to perhaps raise your hand? Thank you. Um, and thanks to your family for um, their service. And um, I just want to say that this film is dedicated to them. Uh, regarding tonight's schedule, as you know, uh, we have with us Stacy Hayashi, the writer and the producer of the film. And in a moment, I'll ask her to come up to the podium to introduce the film. She'll speak for about three to four minutes, and then uh, around, let's see, 7.10 or 7.15, uh, we'll begin the film. It's roughly one hour and 50 minutes long, so uh, the movie will end around nine o'clock. At that point, Stacy and I will drag a couple of chairs up onto the stage and start a Q&A um, that will be about 45 minutes in length. Towards the end of that Q&A, uh, we'll be inviting you all to ask questions to Stacy. And uh, we look forward to that. Uh, as you probably noticed in our lobby, we have our uh, museum shop staff who are selling uh, various items related to the film, including a copy of Journey of Heroes. Uh, the, this is the manga that Stacy and uh, the illustrator Damon Wong uh, collaborated on um, in the early stages of the film's development. And if you're interested in purchasing a copy of that after the Q&A, Stacy will be heading back to the lobby to uh, sign copies uh, if you're interested in that. Um, if there's anybody who uh, is interested in seeing uh, the film this weekend but wasn't able to come tonight. There will be uh, other screenings, uh, two tomorrow, one at 2 o'clock and another at 7 p.m. And there will be one on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Tickets are available, as you know, on the museum's website. That's honolulumuseum.org. As you're probably aware, this screening of Go For Broke is a special programming held in conjunction with the exhibition of uh, artwork from Stacy's and Damon's manga. Um, that's on display right now in Gallery 3, and the show continues until March 5th. If you have an opportunity to see the show, uh, please do. On January 21st, Stacy will be conducting a workshop here at the museum entitled
from comic book to screenplay in which she will share her creative process and help you begin to translate your own ideas into comic book or screenplay format. Uh, if you're interested in that, again, uh, please visit our website, honolulumuseum.org. You can register for the workshop there. Without further ado, let me introduce our guest speaker. Amidst her work in a variety of other fields, Stacy has become a passionate advocate for the Japanese American community and a leading scholar about the history of Japanese Americans who served in the 100th, the 442nd, and the MIS during the Second World War. For over 15 years, she worked on the film Go For Broke, an origin story, as the writer and executive producer. Since the completion of the film, she has continued her cinematic exploration of the 442nd. Her most recent work as executive producer includes the Herbert Yanomura story and The Surrender Call. Since Gopher Broke draws on only the first third of the story told in her manga, she's determined to bring the remainder of the tale to cinematic life in the coming years. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Stacy Hayashi. comic book to this exhibit um, and thank you to HOMA, the Honolulu Museum of Art, um, for, for hosting us. You know, it's really great to be here. Uh, this is the first screening we've had since the pandemic and it has been so hard to not see anybody and not be able to share this story. Uh, all the while, you know, the veterans pass, are passing away, you know, and to not really, I mean, you can't do anything about that. It's just time, but, you know, just sort of felt, hope, you know, helpless. Um, so thank you for coming tonight. And um, just out of curiosity, how many of you have seen the movie before? Oh, okay, cool. So we've got a bunch of people who have not seen it yet. Um, so I don't like to talk too much about it, you know, in the beginning. But I wanted to let you know that this is a very um, authentic film <laughs> because uh, not only do we sh have, we shot in like on location where actual events happened, which is very unique. Um, I don't know if you've seen Band of Brothers, but even with their you know millions of dollars and top notch everything, they did not shoot on location. You know they shot in England. Um, and, and so we, we have a lot of really special things in this film, which we did for pretty much no money. Uh, this, we could not have done it without the state of Hawaii. We could not have done it anywhere else. People just really came out and they gave, they helped us. Um, they didn't charge us for anything, like location. You know, a lot of times uh, productions have to pay for locations and no one charged us because they knew that this was such an important story to tell. Um, it's important to all of us, and uh, yeah. So, like, so there are little Easter eggs in there um, that, there, and I could go on forever, actually. So, <laughs> just try to keep it short. But for example, like you might see Coach Sakamoto in the Three Year Swim Club. Some of you who might know who that is. Um, the real Coach Sakamoto's last protege plays him, and there's you know th there's a stopwatch. That's the real Coach Sakamoto stopwatch. Um, the, there's a family who portrays in a, well, we, I don't want to spoil it, but um, in a certain uh, Buddhist temple scene, that's the actual family of the person they're honoring. Um, not the actor, but you know, the real veteran. Um, so things like that, but we can talk about that after you see the film, because I don't want to ruin it for you. But <laughs> anyway, thank you, and thank you for coming, and hope you enjoy the film. 